Good morning. It is Sunday, November 24th. Got up late. It makes sense. I was out quite late with Friendsgiving last night, but it was a blast. But I definitely slept in and uh, whatever. Now I'm headed to church. Just two years old, your beauty is all I desire. Just to dwell in your presence is all I offer. These internal discussions that we all have about ourselves. Here's a, a simple question. If, you, if you're comfortable doing this, just close your eyes for just a second. I'm not going to come and hit you. Maybe somebody will give you 20 bucks. You won't know who. In the morning when you wake up. In the morning. First woke up. And you step into your, the bathroom in your house. And you look into the mirror. Eyes still closed. You're not looking at what anybody else looks like. Mm -hmm. Step in the bathroom. Look in the mirror. What goes through your mind typically in the morning? We're not allowed to swear at church. <laughs> not allowed. What do you really see? You can open your eyes again. Those wrinkles, those age things. There's a reason why they're there. I've given you the opportunity for life. You're still breathing. Yeah, you got some smile lines. We'll call them that. Some of us just say, oh, my son, you're well-rounded. <laughs> We have a dad in heaven who looks at you. Zero, zero focus on imperfections. Because it's 100% love and acceptance towards you. Just the way you are. What would happen if I began living life like that? Most of us, most people I find like, most people, they really don't struggle with pride and arrogance. Most don't. We've all, we all know those one or two people who do. Nobody here. Most people don't struggle with arrogance. It's a really bad self-speak is their problem. They don't believe what their Father in Heaven says what the Bible says about them. And the message today was on sort of your, your self-speak and, and, you know, thinking about yourself the way God thinks about you and, you know, how, how so many people have such a negative opinion of themselves and you know God says you know love your neighbor as you love yourself and people tend to have an easier time with loving their neighbor than the loving themselves part of that <laughs> and in it he uses like sort of the example you know what do you think when you look in the mirror in the morning you know are you, are you picking out all the flaws and my brain just goes to Mac Davis and be like oh lord it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way I can't wait to look in the mirror because I get better looking each day. <laughs> it's like, but of course, yeah, definitely can pick out flaws and just nitpick about yourself because you know what goes on in your own head. It's easier to have, you know, give grace to others. You don't know what's in their head. You can assume the best of others so much easier than yourself. Anyways. Good message. I think we're headed over to Mom's. Uh, grab Kyle and Ethan and probably go get something to eat. All right, steak and shake. And so a couple of burgers. Hanging out with family. <laughs> and that was fun. Hung out with family. Had a bite to eat. I do enjoy that about Sundays. And it's fun when Kyle and Ethan get to come. Now, it'd be good to get something filmed or recorded or something today. But I'm tired, so I don't really got energy to record something. And mom was, like, able to look at me and even, like, say, like, you all right? You look so tired. And I'm like, so apparently it's very evident on my face. So if I say, do what I may like and record an unboxing of the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica Icons on the Realm figures that I got over there. I probably wouldn't look all that interested in it when really I'm just tired. Um, and so I don't want that to be the video I put up, especially since it's not like I'm trying to do it to get it up this week. It's, I'd be trying to do it to get it out in two months from now. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, 
So I'm like, I should just hold on that. I can hold. I don't know, I'd like to see what's in there. That'd be cool, but... So I might do some editing, and otherwise probably reading, and... I'm you know, trying to get some other things done, but uh, definitely less... Less involved things that uh, require less energy. Less energy. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so after getting home, I... I got in Discord and talked to my buddies for a little bit. And then did a little bit of editing. Then I went and I laid down to, to read. So I've been reading the Eberron book in my bed, but I didn't. Uh, I, I, I napped. I slept. I was super tired for like two hours. I'm still quite tired. I'm like, I better get up, man. For one, I, I do want to still be tired when tonight comes in a few hours. Uh, I'm tired. So I'm going to try and actually still get some things done. I never finished the vlog. I was in the middle of editing. I did team. And I'm at the point where I'm having trouble figuring out, am I just tired or am I fighting off something like some sort of sickness or something? So in case that is the case, I decided to have soup for dinner. You know, you're supposed to have soup if you're not feeling well. And I might not be, or I might just be tired. I can't tell. That'll be dinner. I managed to get things prepped for the game tomorrow, assuming that I will be feeling up to playing. Uh, and I did get a vlog out, but that's about it for editing. I didn't get really any of the Eberron book read. Oh, well. Did what I could. Um, you know, it's kind of been a vlog kind of day. But yeah, so I'll eat and go to bed. Thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.